Hashire sorry yo, kaze no yo ni, tsuki mihara wo, padoru padoru. Today is the Christmas video where we've done all the cool stuff you asked us to do in a previous episode. This is our Christmas gifts to all of you epic people. And I hope you all enjoy this collection of nonsense that we have prepared. Logan Estrada asks, please say that Brandon is normal, boring normie. Brandon is a normal, boring normie. Oh, that must hurt, that burn, ouch. Uh, you're welcome, Logan. Latoria asked uh, us to read a uh, German tongue twister. We shall now take turns having an attempt at reading this. Fischer's Fritz Fischke 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 Fischer's Fritz. Now your turn, Snide. Fishes, Fritz, Fisht, Friska, Fiska, Friska, Fiska, Fish, Fishes, Fritz. There we go. I'm pretty sure we've probably butchered that uh, pronunciation, but I uh, ho ho hope you're pleased with this one. What is the meaning? The, the fishes fished up fishes, I think? <laughs> or Fritz the Fisher fished up fishes? I'm not sure. Sticks and Friends asks Face reveal. Hmm. Okay then. Maxim Gaza asks, Say Master has given Dobby a sock. Oh, we will do more than that, sir. Mr. Malfoy, Mr. Malfoy, I have something of yours. Why don't you prove it? Come, Dobby. Open it. Come, Dobby. Master has given Dobby a sock. What? I didn't... Master has presented Dobby with clothes! Dobby is free! You lost me, my servant! You shall not harm Harry Potter! <laughs> Harry Potter free Dobby! How can Dobby ever repay him? Just promise me something. Anything, sir. Subscribe to Snide and Sniff and like all their videos. This big plan. This was suggested by the boy 217 For those of you who don't know, uh, Dan Danielle's big plan is a six-page comic by Castamel, so we will be honoured to read this epic comic. Hey, Heather! Long time no see! How are you doing? Hey, do I know you? It's Danielle, from the cafe. Danny to my friends. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah. I had to stop eating there. Everything was so fattening. Oh, it absolutely is. By the way, can I just say, you're looking really good. Oh, well, thank you, actually, I... I mean, you've come such a long way. Like when you started coming in, you were smaller than me, I think. And now... Excuse me? I mean, how did you do it? I've been training for years and I've topped out at 240. While well, you've just blimped up to, what, 350? 400? I can't even tell. How oh dare? Are you? I'm so jealous of your gut. It's so... Stop right there. Are you trying to tell me you want to get this fat? Desperately? Wait, you mean you didn't? I don't understand. How did you gain that much on accident? <sighs> if I tell you, can I go work out already? Okay, fine. Two things. First, my boyfriend wants me big. Just being around him seems to make me gain. That's a pretty impressive power. Second, no willpower. Fattening food is everywhere, and I just... I eat all of it. All the time. I can't stop. You don't need to stop. You're amazing. Well, you're sweet, but I'm still going to work out. Okay, I'll let you go. But you should come back to the cafe sometime. Not until I'm as skinny as you, Danielle. I am skinny. Compared to an amazing whale of a girl like Heather, and she didn't even try. I think this is a, uh, may maybe some of the, the true men and women of culture out there might say, oh, this is skinny, but I don't think this is what, uh, people generally call skinny. Hmm. Two I know what I have to do. Amy, Amy, I have news. You split another skirt? No, even better. I have a new goal for my weight, and I plan to get there. 
You're still wanting to go bigger, huh? What brought this on? Always bigger. But I ran into this girl who I used to see at the cafe. And she's got to be at least 400 pounds now. Whoa. That's what I want. I want whoa. What's your plan then? I figure I haven't been taking advantage of working in a restaurant. I can get free meals from the kitchen whenever I want. Plus, I'm going to start taking all of the leftover pastries and baked goods home. But even then, I need to keep eating round the clock. I need supervision, encouragement. I need a coach. That's where you come in. What? No, you're not roping me into this deviancy. I just need you to be like a personal trainer, but for gaming. Amy, come on! I know you don't understand it, but this is important to me. I can't do it alone. You're on your own, kid. I'll pay for all of our food. All of it. For both of us. All of it? All of it. You won't pay a cent for food. It's all on me. <sighs> Fine. But this isn't you trying to get me into a weird scoobly-doobly thing, is it? <laughs> Strictly platonic. You're the best, Amy's. All right, all right. When do we start? Tomorrow. Tomorrow? 2.45. Starting weight. 2.45. Alright kid, I made you a meal plan based on the opposite of what you do when you want to lose weight. Breakfast. High carbs, tons of sugar, empty calories, won't leave you full. Lunch. Fatty, rich food from the cafe, then steal all the extra food and pastries you can. Dinner. Heavy carbs and fat, then you eat everything you brought home and drift off into a food coma. Repeat until 400 pounds. You think I can do it? I'm your coach. Failure is not an option. Now hit the snacks. And so... Nom, 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 nom. Fifteen more minutes, then lunch. Then in an hour and a half, second lunch. This is going to have beaten Hobbit levels. Nom, 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 nom. Having fun yet? Yep. <laughs> Cue montage music. Don't make me sing Eye of the Tiger again. That was horrible. <laughs> more syrup. Hurry up with that pasta. You've got three boxes of cinnamon rolls to take care of. Mmm! Are you eating? Mmm! -hmm. <laughs> this job was easier a hundred or so pounds ago. <sighs> one! One more bowl of ice cream, then bed, then breakfast, then snacks, then lunch, then. Come on, Danny. Donut, then milkshake, then donut, then milkshake, then cake. Stick to the plan. Okay, just... Oh, boy. Give me a second. I need to catch my breath. Hey, Danny. Your heavy-duty scale finally arrived. Let's try it out. Uh, uh, Amy? Need help getting up. Too full. Too bad. Come on, you giant baby. You're getting on the scale. I haven't spent all this time helping you gain to not know the results. What's it say, Amy? I can't see anything down there. Four... Four, seven, five! Four, seven, five? Four hundred and seventy-five pounds! Oh! Oh my god, I did it! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Amy! Oof! Amy, you got kinda heavy. I know, damn it! I picked up your eating habits being your gaining coach. The free food didn't help either. Ah, huh, I'm sorry, Amy. I guess I didn't notice because I was too focused on my own gain. Don't worry about that now. I want you to look at the guest list for this party I'm invited to. Oh my god, Heather's going? I can show her how much bigger I am than her. <laughs> can we go? You're damn right we're going. I need to see this Heather myself. Ugh, I'm so freaking hungry. Where are the snacks? Where's Heather? She shouldn't be hard to find, unless she did lose a lot of weight. Amy, I'm still really sorry for messing up your weight. Don't worry about it. It was my fault for letting it happen. Let me know if you find Heather, okay? Seriously, I need to get some food. BRB. Poor thing. Now where's Heather? I hope she can Bump. Oh, excuse me. Heather? Danielle? You're huge! How? You said you were going to lose weight! I did, and I was. But in the end, I couldn't fight it. And you were right. I didn't need to lose weight. I'm pretty happy, and I get to eat as I please. 
But you, how did you gain so much so fast? You're bigger than I was last time I saw you. It's all thanks to your advice. I surrounded myself with food, ate non-stop. Oof, it's hard to hug when we're both this big. Speaking of which, either of us are going to the gym anytime soon. How'd you like to get dinner sometime this week to chat? Maybe the cafe? Not the cafe. Oh, you need to meet my coach, er, roommate. Hey, Amy, you want to get dinner with us? Well, at least I'll look thin by comparison. Well, wow, this that was that was pretty epic, I must say. Actually, very wholesome weight gain comic. Very nice. Brody Miller asks, Squiggly is my favorite. So if you would like to put that on the list, I'd love that. Uh, Squiggly will be getting her own video. We will get to Squiggly eventually. So we thought for this video, as a twist, since we're going to be looking at large format Squiggly art in her own video, we thought we could look at some slim art for once of, of course, Squiggly. Yeah, so first up we have Squiggly by SS2 Sonic. Nice little artwork here, and I mean the waist is very, very slim, but, whoa, that's some... That's a quite broad. That's, that's wide as <laughs> That is quite wide, yeah. yes. Slim as this is, this is some quality content. Squiggly by Saucy Pirate. But yeah, I like the style on this one. It's it's just yeah. a very wonderful composition. It's got a nice background. They even have a cool artist logo. The dragon's looking pretty cool as well. Very nice. Squiggly by Huayai Artwork, something like that. This is really cute. I like this one. <laughs> Quite flat hair actually. Yeah, that's compared like, to, uh... There's flat and then there's like plate straight up indents in the body, like negative. It's weird. Holy frick, that's right, yeah. Yeah, I don't, this one's great. Yeah, very, this very nice. Very nice. Well done. Hoy, I didn't realize she had only one G name for the longest time. Yeah, we had a bit of trouble finding artworks because we were like, oh, Squiggly 2Gs? Oh no! Squiggly by Magical Chan. Quite cool. And they've gone for a very segmented approach here in terms of the Dragon, and he's quite mm. different looking. Very stylized, very nice and original style, and very, mm. very, very respectable in that regard. Coloring Plactus. Pla pla did I just say Plactus? And finally, Squiggly by Tawny Tailwind. Yeah, this is very much uh, keeping it family friendly with the uh, very large skull there. Mm. Sparkles. Lovely colours. Hmm, no segments to the dragon though, interesting choice. Hmm, a lot of interesting shapes here though. Squiggly from Skullgirls! She's my favourite character! <laughs> yes, I am looking forward to the uh, Squiggly video. She is uh, pretty cute. Okay, well yeah, that's the small amount of artworks we're looking at. Yep, just a bit of Squiggly. Not sure when we'll be doing her episode, but it will arrive eventually. Indeed it will. Lizard Lizard asks... Shrek fanfiction, please. Oh, yeah, interesting. Choice. Strap yourselves in. This is going to be a wild ride. So we found this wonderful piece of Shrek literature by TC81691. Check out their fantastic DeviantArt gallery. This story is titled Shrek Spanks Donkey. One day in the forest. Shrek and Donkey were walking along the path for their quest to rescue Princess Fiona. Along the way, they came across a log on the road. Donkey burst out to Shrek. Shrek, we got to move that log out of the way. It's blocking our path. How can we rescue the princess if some dang log is in the way? Shrek removed the log while Donkey kept on yelling and talking too much. Then he turned to Donkey and said, Donkey, the log is moved now. You can stop talking about it. But, as they continued along the path, Donkey continued to talk and talk and talk, <laughs> saying, But Shrek, we can't be wasting any more time! The princess is counting on us to save her! If there's anything else on the way, there's no chance of rescuing the princess anytime soon! We gotta look out for more logs or hills or roads that could get us lost! Shrek, getting annoyed, tried to ignore Donkey, but when they were getting further and Donkey kept talking, Shrek turned to Donkey and said, Donkey! One more pipe out of you and you'll end up with a very smacked bottom. Yeah, right. Donkey said. You think you know everything about talking and talking too much. You know we got important things to do. Not stand around and talk about piping down our smacking bottoms. Shrek said, Donkey. <laughs> but Donkey continued on, saying. If I had to put my hoof down on the ground to be talking, I would do it with a very good reason. Come on, Shrek. Wake up and see what we need to do. 
donkey, I'm warning you. Shrek was getting annoyed, but before he can continue, Donkey cut him off and continued. If we keep going around in circles, we get lost. And if we get lost, we'll never get to the castle. If we can't get to the castle, we won't be able to rescue the princess. And if we don't save the princess, you won't be able to get your swamp back. And in a swamp, how can you expect to live with a friend who knows more than you might even realise? This has gone too far for Shrek. Donkey! He shouted, and he grabbed Donkey with both hands, and put him under one arm, and his other arm raised a palm, and almost immediately, he landed his hand on Donkey's rear end with a loud and sharp smack. Donkey screamed out. Ow! Shrek, what are you doing? But Shrek did not answer and continued slapping Donkey's bottom. Donkey starts kicking his legs, but it was useless against Shrek, who kept spanking him. Donkey started whimpering. No, please, Shrek, stop spanking my bottom. Shrek simply answered. Oh, pipe down, Donkey. I warned you that you get your bottom smacked. So he resumed landing his hard spanking upon Donkey's rear end. After 25 smacks on his rear end, Donkey started to cry in agony. Oh, please, Shrek. No more, Shrek. I can't take any more of this. He sobbed. Shrek gave more smacks to the Donkey's bottom. Finally, after 25 more slaps, Shrek put Donkey down on the ground, his rear stinging and red from being spanked. Donkey whimpered and sniffled from his long spanking. Please, Shrek. I'm so sorry that I annoyed you, but you may need to look out for public. He trailed off. Shrek then patted Donkey on the head. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Donkey then chuckled, not in humour, but rather in a nervous chuckle. Then, they continued to walk towards the path to rescue the princess. Donkey still talks on the road, but not as often to avoid another spanking from Shrek. Uh, well, that was truly a emotional story. Yeah. Well. Moving. Deep, deep themes this touches on. Holy moly, he really does look like he's got a mind to be smacking Donkey in this picture. Holy frick. The Inferno asks, Read and explain the schematics of an industrial freight elevator. You know what you need to move your girlfriend to the second floor. Of course. Okay, this, this will be a beeping educational video. We went to uh, the website of Stanley Elevator Company Incorporated. Uh, I, I literally know nothing about this company, so I don't know if they're a, a good place to well, get you've, these you've elevators from. You've got the phone, num phone numbers up there. I guess you yeah, can get a quote customers. from them, maybe. Let's have a look. Freight elevators are designed to move materials within a building. Okay. Freight elevators usually travel at lower speeds than passenger elevators. Understandable. But they are built to carry heavier loads and finish to withstand tougher working conditions. So, yep, that's important. We recommend and offer different freight elevators elevator styles based on your desired application and specific requirements as always our team is experienced in customizing standard designs to fit any application so does that mean they can put make it like all comfy and luxury because i mean this is <laughs> yeah. your girlfriend we're talking about she might be beeping like you know 800 pounds but this is still your girlfriend so she needs the best typical factors to consider size and type of load okay so size what are we talking about 400 kilos 250 kilos what's what's the average how fat are they and how fat do you expect them to get? Those are the two things you're going oh, to That's true, about. yes. Type of load is obviously thick girlfriend. Vertical travel distance. How many stories do you have in your house? That's a good point. Method of load. Like maybe <laughs> that's another can, good uh, thing to think, take into hopefully account. Hopefully they can walk in themselves. Oh, yep, worst okay. case scenario, you'll be even pushing them in on their rolling bed or something. <sighs> okay then. Uh, let's have a look at the Elevate Freight planning guide freight elevators 2008 planning guide a little outdated um here's the types of freight elevators okay then so we've got class a general freight loading class b motor vehicle loading okay. so actually we're probably just looking for a class a that a looks general like freight looking. that sounds like a human yep. yeah the weight of any single piece is not more than one-fourth the capacity of the elevator and the load is handled on and off the car platform manually or by means of a hand truck. Okay, may maybe freight elevators use solely to carry automobile trucks or passenger automobiles up to the rear capacity of the elevator. Okay, maybe we're looking at this because, like, she's going to be weigh as much as all of these boxes. It's more like carrying a car, so we probably want a uh, class B. Okay. Right, uh, oil hydraulic elevators for freight, common sizes and capacities, okay. So um, this is probably really the, yep. the least of our worries, I would say, in terms of height, but width. Mm. 
Okay, single entrance car, double entrance car. Okay. Oh, right. We've got one at the back, one at the front. We probably yeah. only need one at the back front. We've got safety beam, door height. Okay, we've got the door here. Uh, ladder to pit. You load your girlfriend in here. It goes up this thing to here. And there's a safety beam. Door opens here. Capacity in pounds, B. Okay, that's a lot of kilograms. Should be enough to hold. It yeah, that, a... I don't think any humans ever been that heavy as any of those. So okay, so this is we're, we're covered in terms of weight. Okay, good to know. Um, okay, so we know people who are overweight are quite sweaty, but I don't think they're going to be over fifty. <laughs> wait, wait, this is counter. Ah, oh, yeah, this is good. We've got the counterweight for the elevator. This is important. Jam and sill detail. Okay. It's the door. We need to make sure the door is, is wide. Oh, that's the end. And that's it. Okay. Did you understand any of that? Maybe we really didn't go into the technical elements of the schematics, really, but I think we've got a general idea of what kind yep. of elevator we're going to want to ask from these people when I build my new house, so yeah. Um. So yeah, that's just a, a brief overview of what you want to sort of be looking at. So uh, I think we can come to the conclusion that a freight elevator is definitely going to handle your large format girlfriend. So uh, thanks very much, and uh, hope your elevator installation goes well. So um, I think that is everything. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, thanks to everyone for suggesting the ideas, for watching our videos, for subscribing if you have, and just keeping this channel alive in 2019. Thank you so much, people. And we hope to see you again for an epic 2020. Merry Christmas! <laughs> so, uh, Merry Christmas, yeah. And a Happy New Year, bros and Absolutely. ladies. That's the end of the decade, lol. Oh my goodness. Next year it's going to be like two whole years of Snine Snuff. That's crazy to think.